olive oil, wine, cheese and much more. The EU is known for its quality agriculture and delicious produce. For over 60 years, the bloc has supported and financed the agricultural sector. So how was this flagship EU policy born? It all began in 1962, when European leaders created the Common Agricultural Policy, or CAP. The goal was to ensure plentiful and affordable food for Europeans, while making sure farmers enjoyed fair living standards. As a result, food production boomed, in some areas a little too much. In 1984, quotas were put in place to help bring agricultural production closer to market needs to avoid overproduction and waste. This applied to products like milk. In 1992, farmers became the direct recipients of EU funds instead of the market. And to make it more environmentally friendly, farmers were also encouraged to play a bigger role in preserving ecosystems. Further improvements came in 2003 when the EU proposed funds for farmers who ensured food safety and applied high environmental and animal welfare standards. The importance of reducing greenhouse emissions was also highlighted. With the 2009 Lisbon Treaty, the European Parliament gained new legislative powers, including in the agricultural sector. And in 2013, Parliament used those new powers to approve the updated CAP. The EU wanted greener and fairer farming. This meant diversifying crops and maintaining a rich landscape, but also a fairer distribution of support to EU farms. Noi ora possiamo dire di avere una riforma della PAC più verde, una PAC meno burocratica, più giovane, perché per la prima volta si introducono aiuti obbligatori per i giovani agricoltori europei. In 2019, MEPs began work on the revamped CAP proposal from the Commission. It aims to encourage an agricultural sector that supports farmers, ensures sustainable food and protects rural areas. Also wir wollen und können vor allen Dingen zeigen, dass unsere Agrarpolitik erfolgreich ist, sowohl ökonomisch, sozial auch, äh, als auch umweltgerecht. In 2021, Parliament approved the new CAP for 2023-27. to 27. It will fully integrate EU environmental and climate laws in a whole host of ways, including supporting organic and small-scale farming. <laughs>